This is Cybert signing into Tiberian Dawn Remastered on the map Tournament Middle Camp, which is a custom user-made map in the bottom left-hand corner as the green GDI. This is Love Handles. And in the top right-hand corner, that's right, automatically spawning on the opposite side of the map as the red nod. This is DK. DK versus Love Handles, but this time it's a best of three. We have seen these guys face off. It was a very tight match, a very close one with a uh, little bit of a back and forth. Big infantry, big infantry swells coming out from Love Handles. Not so much from DK, so a little bit of early game aggression. But as I said, this is a custom map, which as it turns out, if you're searching for replays and they're on a custom map, you have to have the map downloaded first, or the replay just won't show up when you search for it. A couple of Flame Troopers nicely split here. We've seen some other players uh, group their Flame Troopers together, which inevitably lends, leads to them killing each other. Uh, one of them going a little bit deep, and all of them do get eliminated. Nice split by Love Handles, keeping all of his infantry far apart again to uh, deal with these Flame Troopers and... Just, you know, not fall susceptible to any of the splash damage that can kill huge crowds of infantry basically instantly. Harvester's going to be put under a little bit of pressure here. They're going to be rushing in for the kill on the potential refinery, but they're not quite going to be able to get it. A couple of more flame troopers will be here from DK to try and stop this infantry aggression. And for now, Love Handles is just doing a good job of keeping DK off his back, forcing the sell off of one refinery. It's not necessarily a big deal, but on the other side of the map, triple refinery, double barracks, MCV cell. No, okay, so he packed up his MCV and he's expanded over here to the right, dropping a fourth refinery over there. So Love Handles with a very strong opening, but Bike Buggy is a strong unit combination, and I wouldn't count DK out just yet. Infantry now going to be produced here in the south. This is the new base of Love Handles, and DK has already discovered that. But keep in mind, the more that Love Handles keep, keeps DK focused over here, the more these three refineries over here, this other infrastructure goes unharassed. And uh, basically, he just has a free little section of economy, and he's able to just produce stuff without any harassment or trouble. So this is actually going to be fine for Love Handles. DK, on the other hand, starting to build up a couple of bikes, buggies, has added on, has actually MCV sold. So he is going all in with this uh, double airstrip kind of a play. And uh, with his airstrip placement, he's going to have about as fast of unit production as you can from Nod, of course, with the double airstrip getting the time benefit as well. So he's just on those two refineries. This is definitely, over the long term, going to be swinging into Love Handle's favor. But, you know, Tiberium can be used up, and as you start making longer and longer runs, it's going to take DK much longer to actually burn through his Tiberium. So their economy may equalize in the income department, not necessarily in the total resources gathered department. For now, uh, still no War Factory coming out. Yeah, okay, the War Factory is over there. But lots of bikes over here on the left side of the map from DK. He's going to be able to kill one refinery very easily. Basically no contest here from Love Handles. He's got a big group of infantry, but they're no match to keep up with these bikes. One Harvester going down. Very nicely done there. And DK, he's out of cash. But he's got a huge army roaming around the map, even Bike Buggy over here on the right side of the map. So really d utilizing that MCV cell, and for now he's going to be able to just kill the infrastructure of his opponent. Love Handles struggling to deal with this. Of course, the War Factory was extremely late. Dealing with the mobility of recon bikes is difficult, and especially for Love Handles considering what he ended up going for. DK now swarming in. He's going for the Harvesters. No, he's turned his attention back to the MCV as buggies are pushing in from the right side. Another barracks does go down for Love Handles. Tries to sell off the Conyar, barely gets it in time. And now that the tanks are here, he's going to try and stabilize his defense. But DK is having none of it. Kills the War Factory very nicely there and is going to skate on out of town. He can't necessarily take this entire army right this moment, but... He's killed the MCV, he killed the War Factory, so this is it for Love Handles. Unfortunately for Love Handles, he did not have the 
good grace of being able to plan his MCV cell in the same way that DK did. DK was probably working towards that MCV cell for a little while, but now Love Handles is on the offensive. He knows, eh, might as well go for the attack, might as well go for the kill. DK is going to be switching into defense mode. As you can see, packing along a couple of a APCs mixed into this army, but again, it's primarily bike buggy. Ooh, even some artillery up here in the north just going to help him deal with those big crowds of infantry and actually the APCs are just going for the crush directly they care not about the puny guns of the infantry and instead will just crush the majority of the infantry on the front line there is an engineer here but it will probably get targeted down by DK love handles probably won't get a sneaky capture APCs once again going for the capture the engineer or going for the crush the engineer does manage to escape the tanks standing strong for now. One of them it did end up going down, and reinforcements are on the way, but they are slow moving for Love Handles. Now, Love Handles has managed to keep three refineries over here. Only two harvesters really could sell off one of those refineries with uh, no loss to, with no trouble from the harvesters. Still have one harvester per refinery. And uh, buggies here starting to contest with the infantry and trying to keep the economy down. So as you can see, Love Handles is focused on just penning in the harvesters, not even letting them harvest Tiberium and stopping them that way. A sneaky attempt at a runaround there with the infantry in the north, unable to get any real damage done was Love Handles. DK able to shut that down. One harvester does go down, only two remain for DK. DK starting to push in. APCs once again going for the crush. They are in good enough numbers to get some kills before they get eliminated. Now it's going to be down to the bike buggy to try and trade against this infantry. I assume infantry reinforcements on the way for love handles from the bottom corner of the map. And for now, the attack has been abated, but the economy of DK has been pretty low. He's just got a couple of credits, and his income has been very inconsistent over the last minute or two. Now going for crushes with the Harvester. A lot of infantry very clumped up over here on the right side of the map, narrowly avoiding being killed is his love handle as he surrounds this Harvester and gets the kill on it. A lot of these bike buggy are just a couple of shots away from death, and it looks like Love Handles has been able to survive for the current moment. He has been able to mostly whittle down the army of DK. Keep in mind, the only real reason he's been able to do this is because he stopped the economy of DK from, uh, from being able to continue. He was able to shut down the economy a couple of minutes ago, and it hasn't really recovered. On the other hand, a couple of bikes and buggies heading over here. Just bikes, actually, no buggies. Heading over there to the left side of the map. They're going to be going for potential harvester kills or just some uh, in, in, uh, infrastructure kills. As uh, infantry get crushed over here on the right side of the map. Once again, DK not fighting the direct fight, just crushing everything from love handles. As you can see, if you keep the APCs moving... They take very little damage from the infantry forces of Love Handles, and it's down to this one last Harvester. Without the Harvester, he's got no chance of rebuilding the APCs, and eventually they will go down while the economy of Love Handles somewhat remains strong. He still has these refineries down here, so he still can produce. He's just going directly for the infrastructure kill. He doesn't even care about the APCs. He's not even worried about the Harvester, and that's a full load of Tiberium, I believe, unloading there. These bikes over here on the left side are going to potentially be hunting Harvesters, but there's so many infantry here to go for the kill on those bikes. Infantry loading up into those APCs for DK. I'm not sure what his play is. It's going to be a tough base race for DK to try and pull off. Love Handles has the advantage in terms of infrastructure. He's much more spread out. And in this case, he's going to... Nope, he's not going to just bum rush him. He instead, he, he instead decides to back off as I decide to sneeze there. And DK really doesn't want to leave his base unguarded is very close to just being rushed out of this game. And again, the only thing keeping him in this match is the APC's ability to crush. 
That is basically the only thing he's got going for him. One APC down, infantry pop on out of it, and they get a couple of kills. Harvester is also down, second and third APC down, so that's the majority of the threat. No more economy, zero dollars in the bank, and DK has had it. Love handles will... Wait a second, did he... Okay, no. So they they uh, they forgot to turn on kill bases for a second. I thought because DK had an engineer running around earlier that he managed to grab like a barracks or something. But no, DK is out. Love Handles wins game number one of this best of three. One more match win for Love Handles, and that is it. DK needs to turn things around in game number two. Which takes us to Tournament Desert, a remake of the classic Generals slash Zero Hour map in the north as the blue nod. This is DK. And in the south as the green GDI, this is Love Handles. Up 1-0 in this best of three. Very similar openings to last time. Big infantry swell coming out from Love Handles. DK, on the other hand, significantly less infantry. Even this rifleman trying to run past Grenadiers just like last time. It was a uh, like double barracks, triple refinery opening for Love Handles in the last match. But it's going to be a fast expand from Love Handles in this. DK, on the other hand... Of course, he actually may want to expand first before he drops his airstrips, just so he'll get the faster reinforcements. And, uh, oh, Flame Trooper. Not able to get very many kills here. Almost got a kill on a couple of uh, Grenadiers there. Only got the one in the end. And uh, Oil Derek is going to be getting killed by DK. Love Handles doesn't manage to hold that. On the, uh, on the middle of the map, once again... Love Handles is looking for that early aggression, looking for uh, doing some kind of damage. Actually, if he could shut down this airstrip, that would be huge. I can't imagine DK would let him do that. Fast expand underway. No War Factory out here for Love Handles. But and that was, you know, similar to last game. APC out on the map and the Flame Trooper. They are going to pretty much guarantee that this infantry attack is all but dealt with. A couple of uh, infantry hanging out in the Tiberium fields for DK, as you can see, on the left and the right side of the maps. He's uh, leaving his guys in the tip field, not too worried about it. MCV packs up for DK, heads to the right side of the map. An additional refiner going to be going down for love handles. Three buggies and an APC. Not a lot of bikes mixed in for DK. Going to be looking for some little bits of harassment, not necessarily big, big damage. But we'll have to see. Maybe he's able to uh, do some significant poking. Oh, uh, wow. Straight into an Orca. So that is surprising. We don't see Orcas necessarily very much. A group of three to five Orcas can be extremely deadly, although it is costly to produce. And of course, they do have to refuel, get more missiles and all that. But Orcas can really crush through an enemy army if well controlled. Now, of course, uh, Bikes will have something to say about that, but we'll have to see how DK is able to handle it all. Infantry getting poked and prodded by DK. Now going to be moving in with the bikes, going directly for the MCV. He probably has sold the MCV on his side of the map after getting a bit of an expansion up and running. It looks like the MCV will be falling unless he's got some kind of a engineer nearby. No, it does get sold off. And that is it for Love Handles MCV. He did not get out of War Factory, so he's just on infantry. And, of course, he does have that helipad for the Orcas. And the MCV is actually still here for DK, so he did not go for an MCV cell himself and then hunt the MCV of his opponent. Love Handles this game feeling much less in control. Really just uh, this game sort of happening to him. He is not doing a very good job of... Ooh, sticks his engineer in the tip field. This is sort of the the message for this game from Love Handles. He's like, I'm just, this is not having a good game. Not having a good game at all. Harvester's slowly working away at this field. Attack helicopter now out. 
for DK. Going to be able to clean up big groups of infantry without any problem at all. Glove Handles does have a squad of infantry over there on the left side of the map. I don't know that he'll be able to do anything with it. DK has been paying a little bit too much attention. And in this case, yes, DK yes, hasn't sir. actually yes, seen that group of infantry yeah, until, until just now. Building. But I don't know that he's paying attention. Orca does go down. Another one already on the field for Love Handles. And uh, he's going to be able to potentially bounce back with that, but I think it's just going to be mostly sneaky tactics for Love Handles. As you can see, they're not working particularly well so far. Flame Troopers and Helicopters are dealing with his infantry shenanigans quite easily. So, Love Handles. DK has engineered a bad situation for Love Handles to live in, and now Love Handles is struggling with it. He's got two Orcas, which is probably the best thing he's got going for him. But I have a hard time imagining that Love Handles manages to pull this one out without DK throwing in a pretty big way. Harvester's getting harassed over here on the left side of the map. Big group of infantry heading through the middle of the map. Attack helicopters using their ammo over on those infantry on the left side. And DK in total command this game. is going to get pushed back over on the left side if the infantry decide to commit. But the APCs in the middle of the map go for the crushes and they get the kills over there very easily, very nicely. Big squad of infantry on the right side of the map could do some potential big damage to the infrastructure of DK, to that expansion on the right side of the map of DK. DK, but will DK actually allow it to happen in this case? No, the APCs have had time to respond. He did not sync up his attacks, which means APCs just switch over, attack helicopters, refuel, and deal with this very easily. Orc is showing up to hunt APCs, I assume? Okay, yeah, they actually do turn on the APCs. They get themselves one APC kill, maybe a second APC kill, almost a second APC kill, but they don't actually get it. Love Handles trying to split his army up, split his forces, left side, right side, middle, and go for multiple attacks. It's not working particularly well. His sync is just not good enough. DK is handling everything pretty all right. He's lost a couple of APCs. He's lost a couple of forces, but he's got attack helicopters. He's got income. He's got everything going for him. Now, if the infantry can close in on the buildings of DK, Love Handles can actually chew through the base of DK pretty darn quickly. Or if you catch a big group of attack bikes like here in the middle of the map in the south where he gets every attack bike except for the one, that's like step one into coming back into this game. Killing these APCs is another big deal that he needs to go for. He gets to kill on two APCs, finish it off. No, does he not actually have any infantry, any ammo? He might not actually have any ammo. And the orcas just land on the ground. They take a little bit of damage from that buggy. But now attack helicopters in the middle of the map trying to ward away this infantry army from Love Handles, and Love Handles isn't caring. He's just rushing past this. This is what he needs to do. He needs to close the distance, but he's not quite going to be able to do it as four or five buggies showing up. A fifth and a sixth could be potentially rolling in at any moment, and this army is just getting torn to shreds. Love Handles has the right idea, but he doesn't have the numbers, and he didn't have the synchronization to make it happen. This is a failed multitasking attempt from Love Handles. If he would have been able to put on pressure where the forces weren't, things would have been different. One Harvester may go down over there on the left side of the map, but that's a small victory for Love Handles to win. And again, DK can still be defeated, but at this point it would pretty much just be DK messing something up royally. We'll have to see. Maybe Love Handles is able to pull off some incredible multitasking and uh, just push DK to the actual absolute limits. Well, the APCs are getting eliminated, which is, again, that's sort of step one towards killing DK. DK has moved his MCV into the middle of the map, and it's going to be direct contest between buggies and the infantry, which in this case, the buggies are winning handily. Even a SAM site going to be going down to ward away those orcas to push them away and to stop them from assisting the infantry in these future engagements. Five or six orcas over here on the left side of the map. This is kind of creating some space. This is exactly what Love Handles needs to do. He's out of cash, so rebuilding his army isn't going to be very difficult. But of course, the advantage is infantry are remarkably cheap in Tib Dawn. 
APC gets lots of crushes. Bike Buggy now going to be swinging south and just going directly for the kill. If they can cut off the barracks, then they can cut off, of course, the army and just go for the kill directly on the infrastructure on the building. Because I did check the game rules have been changed so that it's kill just the buildings, not kill everything. As uh, sometimes kill everything can be problematic. Orc is going for hunting, going for the kill on the attack helicopters, going hunting for those attack helicopters. And uh, this giant buggy army is going to be able to swarm and kill power plants while in the middle of the map. They're just killing infantry individually. Orc is now with nowhere to land, with no MCV to rebuild. Love Handles is going to have to call it pretty soon, unless he has got an incredible ace up his sleeve. He is uh, going to have to call it pretty soon. Orca's over here on the right side of the map. I don't think they have any ammo. Samzak gets a couple of shots off. And uh, they do actually have some ammo to kill maybe one buggy, and that is pretty much it. The rest of the army has been cleaned up by the remainder of these buggies. This is a lot of Orcas out here on the map, but that should be it for the Orcas. Oh my gosh, these attack helicopters just doing so much damage, able to kill a couple of infantry, but heavily damage a number of other infantry. And actually, oh, okay, those are just the orcas. I was like, whoa, did he sneak a bunch of infantry past the forces of DK? But in this case, no, he didn't. It's just orcas. They're not actually doing anything. And the infrastructure is being gunned down by buggies. DK is using buggies to just directly kill the base of his opponent. Love Handles is pretty much done and dusted. A little bit of a fire sale there for Love Handles. One last refinery gets sold off, and that will do it for game two. DK bringing it back in a commanding fashion. You got to hand it to Love Handles. He didn't give up. He tried his hardest, but um, after losing that MCV, it wasn't particularly close. DK had total control of that game pretty much past that point. Love Handles did pretty much everything he could to try and claw back an advantage in that game, but in the end of the at the end of the day, it just wasn't enough. He wasn't able to get those attacks synced up nicely. He wasn't able to create space where there were no units where he could do actual concrete substantive damage to DK. And in the end, DK just got to play his game his way. But that is a 1-1 in this best of three. Let's jump into game number three, into the ace match of this series. Which takes us to the map Elevation over here as the green, I'm going to guess GDI, this is Love Handles. And over here as the blue slash cyan, I'm going to guess nah, this is DK. All right, DK and Love Handles, game number three. This has been a... Uh, Pretty evenly matched series. It does feel a bit like Love Handles. Game number one was Love Handles game, and game number two was DK. So the matches themselves, the individual maps, weren't uh, super back and forth. But the series as a whole and their previous game show us that these two guys are pretty back and forth, evenly matched. Elevation, once again, another custom-made map. Now, this is this is a couple of these maps where the spawn positions are very specific. We've seen in the past, sometimes on the official maps, the spawn positions can, can be a bit cruel and a bit determinative. Ooh, fast attack helicopter going to be coming out here for DK, and actually it's going to be two attack helicopters right out of the gate for DK. So he's going to be going for something a little bit unorthodox, and considering that Love Handles normally loves his early game infantry, this is going to be a big advantage for DK. So a great reading of Love Handles, utilizing what he knows about Love Handles from games one and two at the very least, and uh, going for the attack helicopters to completely counter the normal infantry that Love Handles goes for. And in this case, Love Handles just has nothing. Oh my gosh, he loses his MCV like one and a half minutes into this game, and the attack helicopters are going to be able to finish off the Grenadiers, which means this is it. He's got one barracks. I don't know that he can even do anything substantial against these attack helicopters. He can try, but man, this attack helicopter rush is actually, this is a great idea. Look at this, love handles, 8K. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say 8K, but no way to spend it. That will do it for this game. Huh, 
Uh, remind me to remove the replay UI because <laughs> apparently this game was 35,791,394 seconds, but also minus 8. I don't know what that's about. Okay, so that DK build... That <laughs> was great! I mean, going rushing attack helicopters when you know your opponent likes to go big infantry, follow it up with three refineries super late into the war factory. That was a great play by DK, a great build. Uh, not a very climactic end to our best of three, but that's what the three maps are for. And in this case... Great moves to DK. Congratulations to him. He didn't even win on the back of Bike Buggy. Sure, Game 2 he did, but Game 3 and not as a whole, he didn't even win on the back of Bike Buggy. That will do it for this game, for this series. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And this is Cybert, signing out.